Every 39 seconds, an American falls victim to a hacker's attack. In an instant, their digital life is compromised, and panic sets in as they realize what has happened. Just about two months ago, I found myself in this exact same predicament when I got the dreaded notification from Google. An unknown individual had gained access to all of my passwords, and in that moment, I realized I needed to take better control of my digital life. But being the programmer that I am, I wanted these hackers to know who they were messing with. I opened up my MacBook, fired up my ID to build something so obvious that you couldn't help but just gloss over it. The password to all of my accounts is now just hidden in plain sight. You just wouldn't know it. We all know the struggle of trying to remember and create unique passwords for every single one of our accounts. And if we're being honest, we usually just end up reusing the same old password or keep a spreadsheet of every account that we have. Deep down, we know these methods leave us vulnerable, but we do it anyway, because it's easy and convenient. That's when I came across this really cool practice that caught my eye. It's called steganography. Password for Twitch. Are you ready for this? Who's ready to see my password for Twitch? That's my password for Twitch. I use steganography for my passwords. Good luck. Steganography is the practice of coding a secret message within another message or data file. It's like hiding a secret message inside something ordinary, like just a simple picture or text. To the naked eye, it seems like a normal image. But to us, it's actually carrying a hidden payload of encrypted passwords. To figure out how to get a password inside of a picture, we need to take a look at how images work on computers. Any image that you view on a screen, be it your computer, phone, or TV, is made up of teeny tiny squares called pixels. Every one of these pixels is responsible for showing a very small portion of the overall image. And inside each one of these pixels are three tiny light bulbs, one red, one green, and one blue. When a computer is trying to tell this pixel to be a specific color, what it does is it sends a number to every one of these light bulbs from zero to 255, telling it how brightly to shine. If a computer wanted to make the pixel red, it would send 255 to red and zero to green and blue, displaying red. However, if it wanted to show a color like pink, it tells the pixel to turn on the red to its full brightness, but also turn on green and blue to lesser degrees. Up close, you're seeing three light bulbs. This doesn't look like pink, but since these pixels are so small, as we zoom out, it actually tricks our eyes into seeing pink. This number sequencing happens across all of the millions of pixels on our screen. So to a computer, all a picture is, is a giant collection of numbers. Great, awesome. So how can we take a bunch of numbers and encode a secret password within there? The magic word here is encryption. Encryption is a way to protect sensitive information by converting it into a way that humans can't easily read it. The beauty of it is you can really only read the message if you have the proper key to how it was coded. For our purposes, this could be telling the person who wants to access our password where to look in the numbers, but also how do we change the numbers to fit our specific needs. There are many methods of doing this, and I'm not gonna go into big detail here, but if you're interested, comment down below or sign up for my email list as I go into more detail about some of these topics there. How I went about doing it is pretty simple. To a computer, every letter of the alphabet is actually represented as a number, known as its ASCII value. If we wanted to just hide the word John inside this image, we can put those three numbers into the number array that's our picture. The downfall of this is you could potentially change the pixel values by a pretty drastic amount. And as you can kind of see here, if we just encoded a password within it, it's pretty obvious where the password lies. In my opinion, this is not super secret, so I went a little deeper. I came up with a methodology that basically reads in all of the pixel values and represents them as a binary variable, meaning a zero or a one. If the pixel is even, I'm gonna represent it as a zero. If it's odd, I'll represent it as a one. And I'll convert that ASCII value to a numerical value and then read a password with whatever starting pixels I want. Like I said, I can go into more detail about different methods of encryption that'll be in my email list. So that's it for the theory. In practice, it actually works pretty well. I can encode whatever password I want in any location with the image, or I can just pull a raw password from whatever starting pixels I want within an image. When it comes time to log into something, I can run the decryption algorithm and then just paste the password into my browser. As of right now, it's still kind of a bit clunky. I wanna add this little drag and drop feature that might potentially just copy the password to the clipboard so you can paste it right away. I'll probably develop these out in the future. But as of right now, if you're interested in this, the link to the code is all in my GitHub below. And if you could, could you please hit that subscribe button below? I love making these videos for you, and these projects typically take me hours, if not days, to build. And the best way to support me is just by hitting that subscribe button below. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.